Hello everyone, in this video, I want to show you how to develop your own app like True Color in Thunderbolt. So, note uh, it's just like the, the True Color, uh, we can't able to say this full like a True Color, but uh, it will be almost look like True Color. So, let's try it. So, let's create a new app. So, let's type as True Color. So, then and here uh, the category is going to be we can come as you can sell as community let's search no there's no anything like community or you can uh, search for any uh, just testing or i can keep just like productivity in the category so then i'm going to click the create button so it's process it's in the process then it's creating the project for us so this is our mobile emulator so here we are going to start designing with our app so screen one is going to be the screen flash okay flash screen so then and her ear the background color is going to be blue or else i can search for the true color here true color yes i can search for the images of the true color yes uh, and here what i'm going to do means i'm going to copy i'm going to download this one or else i'm going to just go to this for image i want to right click it copy image image address so then uh, i'm going to paste uh, in one image here so i'm going to drag and drop one component called image which is available in the image section so here i'm going to increase the width of this one as 200 sorry it's 200 i keep as 2000 it's 200 then you can keep as 180 220 yes it's okay uh you can keep as 230 230 okay so then uh, this background color is going to be the same color that we have added here right so it's have no it is not uh, still it like that one so we need to go very lightly so okay uh, so now uh, it's uh, looking very fine so let's try again live test our designing parts so it's uh, looking very great right so this is the first screen so then i'm going to add new screen here and this is going to be our login screen or we can keep as register screen so register screen so here what i'm going to do next means so here uh, we're going to have we're going to uh, add some images so i mean i want to add uh, design it so the okay it's almost same now Okay, uh, now what I'm going to do next means I'm going to add one colon here. Colon here. So here in this colon, uh, this background color is going to be the white color. So then, and this colon once absolute size height is going to be 350, and a uh, width is going to be 250, just minus 100. Okay, so then I'm going to keep this radius of this colon as 50. Okay, so then what I'm going to do next means so here we are going to have some codes like. Uh, I mean, I know I want to add some uh, text inputs here. So before that, I want to add something like one rows. So here, first row is going to be consist of this text. Okay. So first row, and we are having one text input. So first, we are having this one like. So even before text input, I want to add one uh, image here for uploading the user's image. So profile image so what i'm going to do in here means i'm going to search for one image here okay so here we don't need a column so i directly i will go through the image itself so after image we are having one text input for entering the user's name so i'm going to set this in as uh username username and for it's going to be a text input one and i'm going to duplicate it so then after the username we are having the email address here email address yes email address so after the email address we are having a uh, phone number phone number we are having so first mainly we require the username and their uh, email address phone number and user's profile image also we are going to add another one thing on like uh, details about you like that so if the user don't need means they don't need to enter here 
so what i want to do next means i want to add one button here for uh, registering these data so uh, this uh, which is going to be 250 pixels okay absolute size 250 pixels or else 200 is okay also and this one's uh, text is going to be log on okay so then uh, also this columns uh, vertical arrangement is going to be a uh, space not between space around okay uh, so then what i want to do next means uh this once uh, this image height is going to be 50 and uh, width is also going to be 50 even i can keep a height as 80 even with as 80 both are 80 so okay now it's okay now and uh, now this uh, image is going to have one image like profile image i can search for the profile icon and i can and this is the profile icons that I can get from the Google. So here, this one, I can get it. Okay, then copy this image address or else I can go through the some transparent images I can get. So even you can get your own images, but now I'm going to uh, go with this image now. Okay, so just I'm going to copy image address. I'm going to paste in that uh, pictures. Then uh, width of this one is going to be we need to increase or else i can keep uh, i can select any other images like this one itself yes i can select this one I copy image address i'm going to paste it here now it's okay so also this radius is a radius of this image too is going to be almost uh, 50 pixels okay so then what i'm going to do next means uh yeah we have successfully done with this screen register design so then uh, next we are having after registering we are having the explore screen or we can keep as uh, home screen home screen and after home screen we are having a setting screen settings okay so after settings we are having the screen view screen view user data in view that's all so this is all the overall screens that we are having in the app so first uh, we are having one row here first we are having one row so after the row uh, we are having the data viewer list here after the row one we are having the data viewer list and inside this row what i want to do means i want to add one label here displaying the true color so it's true color and a font size is going to be 25 pixels and this row once a uh, vertical horizontal arrangement is going to be the left and this row once height is going to be fit content so in this app uh, the search bar is not available so first of all uh, we are we're going to set the list item layout so i'm going to keep like this one so we are having the user profile image for then we are having the title that means username and we have a subtitle like user's phone number so then what i'm going to do next means then uh, screen settings i mean account settings so here they can get the uh, uh, their profile image first of all or well, they can get the profile picture like 80 by 80. so not 180 it's 80 okay so then this uh image already is going to be the 50 pixels and what i'm going to do next means uh here we are going to display something right so we don't need uh, add anything here uh, currently now so then what i'm going to do next means i'm going to add one label here or else i can add one text input here text input uh, for changing the uh, data so or else uh, you also don't need to change the data so directly we can keep like a uh, label itself so if you want you can use uh, labels so now i'm sorry you can use you can use text inputs but now i'm going to use the label itself first of all you're having the username then uh this font size is going to be 20. so then i want to duplicate this uh label again and this is going to be user's email address so then i want to duplicate it again so it is going to be the user's phone number okay so hint text is going to be the phone number 
is just for our reference. After phone number, we are having the user details. So uh, we are having about you. About you. Okay, uh, so now what I'm going to do next means uh, we are having one thing like button for uh, logout or we can keep as stop account. Stop account and this width is going to be 200 pixels, update size 200 pixels, and this background color is going to be red color. And this one's settings, a uh, vertical arrangement is going to be the space around. Okay, so this is our overall setting screen design. So then at last, we are having the a screen view. So first, uh, we are having like uh, first, we need to display the uh, we, need, we are having one column here. Column. So first we are having on that column. So after the column, what I'm going to do next means we are having the uh, another one column again. Uh, so I want to add another one column again after the column too. So first, first column is going to be first of all I'm going to invisible this column three because of that we can see uh, everything in the column two. So first of all, I'm going to add one uh, image here for displaying the user's profile. So then what I'm going to do next means uh, this uh, item width is going to be the 80 by 80. So 80 by 80. So then uh, this uh, radius is going to be the 50. So then uh, it is going to display the user's name. So we are having one label here. So this label is for displaying the user's name. So username like that. Also this username font size is going to be very high. So 25 pixels. So then what I'm going to do means I'm going to set this uh, height as fit content also now we are going to make the column 3 as visible now okay so first we'll display the user's name and what i'm going to do next means we are going to uh, give some details about the user first we are having we are, we are going to add one row here inside this column 3 so inside this uh, row what i'm going to do means here we are having one thing like one label first of all we are having two labels here one is like first okay so first label is going to have a text of uh, users email address okay email address so email address then uh, here is going to display the email address like example example at mail.com so like that we are putting here so then uh, also we are going to remove this one so okay so then uh, this rows height is going to be the fit content so after the row uh, two we're going to duplicate the row two again so after that row three we're having so this uh, email address text is going to be instead of email address we are having the phone number even phone is enough for us and we are having a phone number so somewhat like we would do like this numbers So now what I want to do next means I want to duplicate this phone again. So first we are having the uh, username we have displayed it, email address displayed it, a uh, phone number displayed it, and even profile also we displayed it. And we are having the about you, which means uh about okay. Uh, so then I want to add one column here because column it's it is going to be very big. So first of all I'm going to drag and drop one column here. So in the before that column I'm going to add this uh, row three. So this column is going to have a text of about, so which means I'm going to make this uh, inside this uh, column for uh, this label is going to be in there. Uh, so then this text is going to have a text of about, about the user, about the user. So then what I'm going to do next means this is going to be 25 pixels. And after this, I'm going to uh, duplicate this one again also this one text is going to be 80 pixels and about is going to be the text here about and dot 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 dot, dot somewhat like this okay and this uh column four is going to be height is going to be fit content also this one if we keep it is fit content then let's check what will happen so then uh, also this uh screen once all vertical arrangement is going to be the top Okay, so this is how our app is going to look like. So then what I'm going to do next means also this vertical arrangement top 
and space around okay now it's looking very good also then what i want to do next means we are having one thing also that you can make this one call into as scrollable because of that they can scroll it so then uh, we are successfully done with the designing part so let's start with the uh, uh, blocks part but before that make sure uh, you, you need to add some components like this so alert component first of all so this alert component is going to have a title here so title is going to be nothing but uh, first we are having the alert itself so then uh, or else we can keep as not alert i'm going to have one image here so image as a title so then uh, message is going to be uh, which type which type you want to upload you want to upload So then first in the confirm place we are having the upload so then in the cancel place we are having the camera so then what i'm going to do next means that's all then we are having the photo library we need to add one photo library here photo library uh, so after the photo library we need to add one camera here these are the two components so then we are having the uh, media db media database component here because for converting the image to uh, url and we are going to save that url in the database so and now we are going to the home uh, i'm i'm in the home screen so here first of all we are going to link the uh, our database and the application so here what we're going to do means i'm going to use the docs.google.com spreadsheet which means we will use a google sheet as a database here so let me close this one okay so here uh, i'm going to have this uh, i'm going to create one blank screen here so this one i'm going to make uh, i'm going to keep some title for this uh, blank sheet so as app so you can keep as like true color app true color app like that okay so first we have created this one so then what i'm going to do next means uh, we are having the data like uh, username first of all we are having the username so after the username what else we are having means we are having the email address so let's simply give us email so then what i'm going to do next means i'm going to give as phone number so uh, shortly we are having the phone so then after the phone number we are having the uh, about so let's have uh, about so then uh, we are having the i image okay uh, so this is our overall database and what I'm going to do next means I want to uh, go to the Thunkable and go back to the home screen. And in this data view list one, I want to add a database here. So which means the create new sheet. So I'm going to create one new sheet here. So let's scroll down very slowly. Yes, this create new button and click the Google Sheets. And I'm going to select a sheet here. So you can see your all of the apps data. So now I want to uh, select like, so it's not displaying my apps name. So I think I want to switch my account. So guys, now I can add the database. I think so. So that I can create new and Google Sheets and select a sheet. So now what I want to do means I'm going to select this true color app. So then I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to create that. Yes, it's creating for us. So uh, then what I want to do next means here I want to uh, select so not this one. So in this uh, get image property from colon for the pictures for this profile image what i'm going to have means this image so for the title we are having the username and subtitle as phone number okay so then user can able to do nothing so using can be able to left swipe so left swipe means this will appear so instead of this left we are going to have this call yes call like that we will have one swipe here so then uh, then what I'm going to do next means one left swipe is available so I'm going to add one component named share here where you can get from a social a section because of that user can able to easily care, contact the user so then what I'm going to do next means also uh, here I'm going to do something like uh, we are going to uh, do some icon for this uh, to both of the screens so for that what i'm going to do means i'm going to add one bottom tab navigator 
so i'm going to drag and drop this one so belong to this top uh, bottom tab navigator we are having this home screen now but i don't need this home screen so even i don't need this about screen even i don't need this contact screen even i don't need the settings uh, which is available from a default so i need to uh, keep these settings inside this bottom tab navigator so then after before that settings we are having this home okay so if you close this bottom tab navigator means this screen will be these two screens will be disappear so now what i'm going to do next means so in the home screen we are we need to have some icon right so now what i want to do means home icon home icon like that i'm going to search so here i can get from home icon right so i can just right click it and copy image address i'm going to get the thunkable and at the bottom you can get active tab navigator so i mean active tab icon so it is going to be the icon here so then settings we are having so now i'm going to search for the settings icon settings icon so here you can get some settings i can hear from default i'm going to copy image of the copy image address i want to paste inside this active tab navigator of the skit uh, sorry active tab icon for this uh, sc uh screen settings so we have successfully done with this designing part so then what i'm going to do next means we're going to start doing with the block section so let's get started so let's go to the block section so here first of all it will load for you it's taking some time to load so now you have successfully loaded the screen so now what i'm going to do means uh, whenever this uh, we are going to add some variables here so in the flash screen so first we are having the a stored variable here so like a username so after the username what else we are having means we are having the phone number even so uh phone number so then after the phone number we are having the email address so email so after the email address we are having some more so before this a phone only this email will come so i have kept wrongly so first of all name email address phone number then we are having the about so about so then we are having the profile profile so let's check these are the four different variables one two three four s the register screen also we are having this one two three uh one two three four and five we are having so we have kept, created a variable for the username email address to phone number two about two and this uh this profile image too so we are having we need to have some five screen five variables here so username here so email address is also here phone number is also here about is also here one two three four and we are having the fourth one of profile so we, this is how we need to check here so after creating these variables uh, so whenever this uh, screen flash was opens that time we are going to check one thing so we, with the help of if else conditions so if is equal to null so which is equal to null means so if the users uh, email address or some any you can take any variables so now i'm going to take as phone number so if the user phone number uh, is equal to null so that time we are going to uh, navigate the screen we're we going to wait for some seconds like three seconds <clears throat> so after waiting for three seconds we are going to navigate the screen for register screen so if it uh, else it is not equal to null it was already filled with some data means we are going to wait for some seconds and we are going to navigate the screen to screen flash okay so then what I'm, so not screen flash uh, then we are if we are already uh, filled with some data means we are going to navigate the screen to screen home so now we are going to start programming with the register screen also in this variable we need to uh, we are going to create a new uh, raw or stored variable named row id okay, row id store like that we are going to have one here row id store so register screen uh, what i'm going to do means if the user was click this icon uh, which means image 2 the user was click the image 2 that time we are going to show that alert that we have created right so i'm going to show this alert if it was confirmed if it was confirmed means it is photo library so we will keep uh, select the photo and if we are we are going to display in the uh, image 2 so let i can quickly do it 
so then what else we are having means if our deducer cancel means that time we are going to uh, do like uh, we are going to uh, back to the normal image the what i want to do means this image 2 is going to be the same image so i'm going to keep this empty text here so then uh, this icon is going to be filled with this url so then uh, i'm going to get this url here so then what i want to do next means uh, if it was not confirmed yet so uh, which means you can get the not from the logic section so not if it was not confirmed so then we are going to select we are going to select the camera so take photo so then you're going to do the same thing like this one it is going to display that photo in the image too so then uh, if it was already a uh, user cancelled image then we are going to back to the normal image so then what i would do next means if the user was click the logon button which means button one so if the user was clicking this button button one so that time we are going to store some data to these variables to these variables so these variables are going to be filled with these uh, data first we have the username as text input one username as text input one so then we are having the email address email address so yes email address is going to be the text input two then we are having the phone number so yes for email address is going to be the text input two so then we are going to duplicate it again so then what i want to do means uh, we are going to uh, keep this stored variable about about to not about its email okay so we have already said this is email its phone number phone number is going to be the text input 3 so then what i want to do next means this uh, stored variable about now only it's about is coming so about is going to be the text input 4 so then what i want to do next means uh, we are going to uh, keep like this button sorry uh, this uh, we are going to have this profile image so profile is going to be uh, we are going to uh, upload this image to this media db so what i want to do means upload to this media db so there's one uh, this is going to be filled with this image too so image to picture so now what i want to do next means i want to get this okay i want to set to this media so then what I want to do next means I want to paste this, I want to paste this media URL inside this profile. So for that what we required means this media URL. Okay. So it was collapsed. So what I want to do first, first is going to be the name. So then it's profile. Okay. So first one, two, three, four. A name, email address, phone, about. Okay. Let's check. Name, email address, phone, about. One, two, three, four. Okay. It's all right. So now what I want to do, oh, we have stored in this uh, stored variable. So after storing in the stored variable, we are going to upload to the this database here, which is means Google Sheet. So for doing so, what I'm going to do means we want to get some blocks from the data sources. So create new row here. So we are going to set this one a uh, first. So first this username is going to be the first stored variable. So it's going to be this name. So then we are having the email address. So this email so then uh, phone number we are having so phone number is nothing but the phone so then we are having the about so about variable so then what i want to do next means then we are having the image which means profile so also uh, we are going to store another one thing like this stored variable row id store is going to be uh, this row id okay so uh, then what i want to do next means so this is uh, was uh, code for this register screen so once it was done with these all things then it is going to navigate the screen to screen flash so this uh, screen view so then before that screen view and uh, then we have we are having the screen home okay so whenever events this uh, whenever this screen home was opens okay whenever the screen home was opens that time automatically it is going to be the refresh it is going to refresh the data refresh data so uh, then what I'm going to do next means so it's going to display some uh, data which is fetching from this database so then whenever user was clicking that one that data it is going to navigate the screen to screen view so for doing so uh, we are having one web variable name local row ID okay, local row ID 
so we are we are not having i here local uh, row id this variable app variable that we are using here so why because we locally we are uh, getting this uh, row id and we are going to store in this app variable then we are going to display in the screen view so here we are because here also we used one variable name uh, row ids to store so this is the main row id that is going to be permanently stored in the user's device but uh, this uh, local variable row id is going to it's going to be stored in the user device for temporary not permanent so only we are using this a uh, local row id different name here so uh, we are keeping this uh, local row id is going to be the null so once we have kept this variable to null so whenever user was clicking this one data whenever user was uh, click any item at that time we are going to set this one this variable so this store not uh, this one so local row id is going to be this row id so then uh, whenever user was a uh, right uh, left swipe whenever user was left swipe click at uh, that time we are going to uh, call to the user uh, that means why because we are using this row right uh, i mean this we have a call button right so we are having the share from the share you can get this call phone so here from the data source you can get apps uh, get the data okay so i'm going to get the data from like this one so i want to have one another one app variable name phone or else we can keep this share we are going to call to this uh, one we even we don't need this variable extra so delete it as so because call number phone number is going to be in the true color app database we are in the sheet one we are having the phone number in the phone we are having this row id okay so this is how we are going to call to the user so then what i want to do next means uh we are successfully done with this uh, screen so before that uh, we are going to do one thing like a loading screen here so that we have done uh, we have we have not done in the designing part so loading loading is the screen name so here it is going to uh, show the loading icon so which means it is going to load the data which means it is going to fetch the data from the database and it is going to display stored in the variables and we are going to display in the screen view so first of all we are having the home screen here so in the home screen uh, so whenever user was click any items that time it is going to store in the uh, local row id variable uh, as a row id so then we are going to navigate the screen to screen uh, loading okay so the screen loading so now we are going to do the programming for the screen loading so whenever the screen loading screen was opens that time we are going to uh, we are having some different variables uh, locally okay so app variable username this uh, username display this one variable that we are having here so it is going to be null okay so then I, i'm going to duplicate the same variable as uh, after uh, instead of this username i'm going to use the word like phone number or email address so email display so after email we are having the phone number so we are going to keep like phone display phone display after phone number we are having the about so about display about display so after the about we are having the of profile image so profile display or else we can keep as image display one two three four five so we are having the five different app variables here so whenever the screen uh loading was opens that time we're going to store in these variables so first i can start with the username username app variable so not change we don't need to change by one dollar so just we are going to set the stored variable not stored variable it's app variable a username display so we are going to get this data source and get the value from the true color app and this in the sheet one from the row id so row id we are going to use like that row id we have used the local row id right so that we are going to use here so then we are having the after app variable uh, username display email email address so it is going to be the email so then what i going to do next means i'm going to display the phone number right so phone number is going to be the phone so once we store this phone number so then we are going to store this email yes not email it's about so 
going to store this app variable uh, about display is going to be this about okay so then what we do next means this again uh, app variable then we are having the image to display so it is going to be the image from the database okay this is the overall code to store so once it's stored we are going to navigate the screen to screen view from here screen view okay so here also you can get the screen view so whenever the screen view was opens that time we are going to display uh, some data from the variable so first we are having the image for so image for is going to display the image name variable so we can get this one right image to display so then after this image we are having this label 6 to display the username label 6 to display the username so we are having another one app variable for this so display so username display so then again we are having another one label so which is you now this email so this email address okay which is label 8 so label 8 is for displaying the email address so email to display so then we are having this one next next is going to be phone number so phone number a uh, label id is label 10 so label 10 is going to be display the phone display phone number so then another one thing we are having so which is about okay so this about text is going to be so label 12 text okay so label 12 text is going to be about to display okay so now successfully we've done with the five variables here so then we're successfully done with the screen view too we are done with this all so then we are having uh, this loading also we have done it so home also we done it so then we are in the setting screen so here uh, we are having the profile at uh, this image right so at uh, this username uh, we are going to uh, we need to uh, do the same code here again so let me do another one shortcut method here so here you can learn one uh, shortcut method so just uh, click this control to see by click here by selecting this uh, option uh, i mean the screen view open block so that time we are going to uh, go to this uh, screen settings we are going to just is that again so here uh, i can get this block right so here uh, instead of this screen view we are having the setting screen was open that time uh, this uh, screen this image which is uh, picture uh, image one image three sorry so image three is going to be displayed it's going to display the profile image so then first we are in the label two uh, which is the username so then we are having the label four uh, which is email address uh, then we are having this label five uh, which is a uh, phone number right uh, so then we are having this after the label five uh, then we are having the label yes uh, first we are having the label two three four five level two three four five first we are in a two then we are having three so then we are in four then we are having five okay so these are the five one two three four five in five different variables we are done with here so we have successfully done this code so then we are having the button two which is a logout or we can say a stop account so button two so whenever this stop account was clicked that time we are going to set this one a stored variable and everything every stored variable is going to be null so better uh, this name is going to be stored variable name is going to be null I'm going to duplicate it again i set this phone number as null also uh, before that i'm going to keep this email address to null so after email address uh, this about also null and after uh, about we are having this a uh, profile to null so after the profile we are having this uh, row id stored to null so then what i'm going to do next means uh, before these uh, keeping before keeping these all to null we are having another one thing to delete from the database so we are going to uh, delete row from the database before keeping these all so for the row id which row id means we are having the stored variable row id right a stored variable row id is to store so this is going to be this uh, for row id uh, for deleting it okay so after this uh, after deleting with the no only we are going to uh keeping null these all so then we are going to navigate the screen to a uh, screen flash so then uh, it will navigate the screen to screen register 
so let's check what are the code we are uh, remaining so we are done with the flash screen register screen to view screen also we done it so we don't need this extra screen i think so uh, so uh, then after this what i want to do means uh, so we are done with the screen view screen and uh, we are having the loading screen we done we have home screen we have done so then we have done the setting screen we are successfully done with our app so now the remaining is to we need to test our app now I need to take a new photo again. I need to confirm it. Yes, the image was uploaded. Then I'm going to uh, give my name here. So then I'm going to give the email address here. So then I'm going to give my number here. So something like this. So then about in about uh, I'm going to give like uh, I am Jerry Shikes like that. So then I am going to log on it. So it will take some time to uh, convert this image to the URL and it will send to the uh, database. So now you can see the flash screen. So then it's showing uh, it successfully we created this app. So it's showing this uh, our image here. So Jai and our name here. So if I load it means it's loading. If I click it, if I click it, it is loading. Yes, I can see the profile image here, and you can see this Jai here, and you can see my email address and everything here. So this is how our app is going to work. So if you like the video, make sure you click on the red color subscribe button and the bell icon. So please share this video. Thanks for taking your time to watch our video, and in this video, you have learned about creating your Truecaller app in Thunkable, and don't forget to try this app after watching this video.